An excerpt from A Shaman Hits the Island by Jimmy Durham. Santiago Bose has been in New York City only a few months. He knows his way around well enough that he does not need New York to give him an artist's license. Santiago likes to work with material at hand, with subjective themes from whatever is his situation at the moment. His window installation at Zone looks like anarchy at first, made of mud and large timbers from the vacant lot across the street from the gallery. The piece has all sorts of echoes, like not yet being completely in a place or emergence, development, and possibly homesickness for some more tropical place. In Baguio City in the Philippines, the military installed a huge radar on a mountaintop. On the next mountaintop over, Santiago Bose built his own huge anti-radar tower from bamboo, vines, and leaves. The first thing he asked me when we met was, do you know where I can get bamboo in New York? He is not in the least intimidated by modern monsters or power systems. The significant art now and in the near future, the next wave, will come from the minorities because the edge is there. Quote, the power of writing must be given to the people, then we will have a more objective view. A minority artist here must be aware of that, must deal with it, and be aware of his own politics. Someone says, I'm an artist, I have no politics. So I say, then you have no business being an artist. Our art is a gift we must share with people." End quote.